pack is definitely interesting because it can wear both the white hat and the black hat. It can be used to monitor network traffic to see if you have an intruder on your network or to see if you're having problems with the routing packets. Perhaps you're not getting through all the way and you don't know where or you're having a problem. You can also use it, here comes the black hat, you can also use it to watch people. Watch people on your network or anywhere else where you can sniff packets. For example, the FBI does that. They have the Carnover program. And the NSA has NARIS intercept. And no, I'm not just being paranoid. They've been brought to court many times and somehow is always thrown out as state secrets. It's okay. We can't tell you. We'll keep doing it. Google it. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys a very basic packet sniffer. It's called Wireshark. It has a lot of features, a lot of functionality. We're not going to go into all of it. I'm going to show you guys just the basics, how to install it, how to use it, and how to kind of read some of the packets and the data you're getting. The first thing you want to do is open up a terminal. And run sudo apt get install Wireshark. Run that, type in your password, you now have it. Now you're going to have to run Wireshark as root to do capture because you have to have root privileges to access your NIC. Now you don't want to use the command sudo whenever you run any graphical programs. To make a long story short, it's just bad. You can run into a lot of problems if you use sudo to run graphical programs. You want to use gk sudo or kde sudo. You want to run GK sudo if you're on GNOME or KDE sudo if you're on KDE. So type in GK sudo Wireshark. It's going to pop up this little error and say, oh, watch out, you're running this as root. That's okay. You're going to have to do this to capture data. Now, over here on the left hand side, we have all the capture uh, devices you can capture from. I want to capture from my Ethernet card, so you can say ETH0, and I'm going to click it. You can see a couple packets here. It's already started to capture. You can see I have cups running, uh, a couple other things going. So right now, I'm going to send an email. This is just a standard email. Uh, you might send, you know, someone might send to someone. It's about a lost password. Nick, I heard you forgot your password, so here it is. Alien probing. Nick. Now, there's a big reason why you don't ever want to send personal information in emails. That's because it's sent in plain text. Anyone can read it if they're sniffing your network, which is I'm going to show you right now. So don't send passwords through emails, and if you click forgot the password button, always change it immediately because people can read it. So I'm going to send this. We're going to go back to Wireshark, and I'm going to apply a filter. I'm going to apply the filter, HTTP, and return. Now, applying that filter because I know that it's an uh, you know, internet protocol, and you can see all the packets over here. Now, you can see this one right here. It says Compose. That's probably the packet I'm looking for. So if you right-click on it and you hit Follow TCP Stream, it's going to pop up this little dialog box. Now, I'm going to do a search by clicking on the Find button, and this thing is case-sensitive. So it's going to search through the traffic for Password. And you can see right here it highlighted password. You can see right here that it highlighted password. So we're going to take a look at this packet and you can see it's sent from me with the, it says right here that the subject is password. And it says Nick heard you forgot your password here it is and then right here alien probing now you can see right now how this is very easy for anyone sniffing traffic to find all of your data as you can see it is really easy to, to sniff out people's emails and other unencrypted traffic on a network it's very insecure to send an email that's not encrypted this is why you should be sniffing your own networks too to see who's on it and what they're doing. Be careful though because don't sniff a network that doesn't belong to you. If you're at school or at work or in a cafe and you sniff that network, that is a criminal act. You can go to jail. So be careful if you're out in the world doing this. But on your own home private networks, you should do this, especially if you're running a wireless network because you want to know if someone has cracked your key and got in. There's a lot of other reasons why you want to do this too, but this is a basic intro to Wireshark. You should definitely check it out. Have some fun with it. There's a lot of good tutorials out there on it. 
um, go ahead and play and learn. Remember questions or comments, leave them below. And don't forget to visit nickmcd.tv for written instructions on how this was done. Until next time.